Hi there, welcome back. This time, we will take a quick look at different ways of adjusting audio levels in DaVinci Resolve. In the audio tab of the inspector, you can drag the volume slider or enter a numeric value to set the volume level of the selected clip. If you have multiple clips selected, dragging the slider or virtual slider will make relative adjustments to all selected clips. Entering a numeric value will set all clips to the same absolute volume level. There are also keyboard shortcuts you can use to adjust the volume. Press Ctrl-Alt equals to increase audio level 1 decibel and Ctrl-Alt minus to decrease 1 decibel. To change volume in increments of 3 decibels, you can press Alt-Shift equals or minus. In the timeline, each audio clip has a volume overlay that you can drag up or down to set the clip's volume level. Hover the mouse over, when the cursor is changed to a two-way cursor of a pair of up and down arrows, click and drag to adjust the volume. If you find that it's difficult to see the overlay, you can open the Timeline View Options palette to change the Audio View option. Turning off the Non-Rectified Waveform option will give you a better view of the audio level overlay. We can also use the normalize audio level command to adjust audio levels to a specific target level. Select one or more audio clips, right click to choose normalize audio levels. Select the normalization mode, enter the target level, choose a set level option. Relative will adjust all selected clips by the same amount and the independent option will apply different adjustments to each clip so that they will match with each other and have a balanced audio level output. If you want to lower or increase the volume for only part of the clip, you can keyframe the volume parameter. Move the playhead to the place where you want to change volume. Go to the inspector, click the keyframe button to add a keyframe. Move the playhead forward a few frames, change the volume, and a keyframe is added automatically. Like keyframes of any other video parameters, right-click the keyframe button, you can choose ease in or out to smooth the volume transition. The volume overlay in the timeline also lets you create keyframes with simple mouse clicks and adjust keyframe values by dragging up and down. Press and hold down the Alt key, click the level line to add a keyframe at that position. For a volume change we need at least two keyframes. Alt-click again to add another keyframe. We can now drag the volume level up and down to adjust the left or right side of the clip. If you want to change only the middle of the clip, Alt-click to add two more keyframes. Now dragging the line will only change the volume in the middle. You can also select and drag individual keyframe points to change the keyframe level values or move keyframe positions. To open the Audio Curve Editor, click the Audio Curve button at the bottom right corner of the audio clip. In the Audio Curve Editor, you can also Alt-click to add keyframes and drag to adjust keyframe values. Like other curve editors in DaVinci Resolve, you can select keyframe points, copy and paste keyframes, and delete keyframes. Or change the easing option for the selected keyframes. When a keyframe is set to ease in or out, you can drag the handle to adjust the curve if needed. Holding the control key while dragging the handle will disconnect the handle on the other side and let you change the curve on one side only. To add and manage keyframes for audio panning, click to open the drop-down menu, check the pan option. Just like the volume curve, you can add and adjust panning keyframes on the curve line to get the effect you need. If you move the mouse over an audio clip, you will see two audio fade handles at the top. You can drag them to the middle and create audio fade up and down effects. 
Once the effect is created, there is a handle that appears in the middle, and you can drag around to adjust the fader curve. Between two audio clips, you can press Ctrl T or drag from the effects library to add the crossfade transition and create a smooth audio transition that fades down the outgoing clip while fading up the incoming clip simultaneously. For an asymmetrical crossfade, you can hold down the control key while dragging the edge of transition to adjust the duration side by side. If you want to change the volume for audio tracks or the entire timeline, open the audio mixer. Where you can see strips correspond to the audio tracks in the timeline. Drag the slider to adjust the volume level of clips in that track. You can use the strip on the right side to adjust the overall volume level of the entire timeline. Double-clicking the slider will reset the level to default. If you just want to show the audio levels, open the option menu and choose meters. Like video clips, you can also create audio compound clips. Select multiple audio clips, right-click and choose new compound clip. Now you can treat it as a single audio clip and adjust the audio levels as required. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.